lesson, we learned how to find the mean standard deviation and variance for data that was just listed individually but not grouped. We use the average function to find the mean, the VAR function to find the variance, and STDV function to find the standard deviation. But how do we find the mean, variance, and standard deviation when the data is grouped? Here's an example. So let's suppose we're measuring diameters of rods and we've grouped the data in increments of 0.03 inches. So we have rods between 3.695 and 3.725 inches. Okay, and the midpoint of that interval is just the average. Okay, and then we have one rod in that interval, six rods in this interval. How would we find the basically the average standard deviation and variance for this data? Well, the average, we just do a weighted average. One times, the we assume every observation is at the midpoint of the group. So we do 1 times 3.71 plus 6 times 3.74, et cetera, divided by the number of observations. How many observations? Well, 200. We'll show the formulas, of course. Now, what's the mean? Just do a sum of product. Remember, that takes a row times a row or a column times a column. Take the midpoint of each interval times the number in that interval and divide by this, 3.8549. Now to get the variance, what do we do? We take the average square deviation from the mean. But remember, you divide by 1 divided by the observations minus 1, not 1 divided by the number of observations. Okay, that's to make your estimate an unbiased estimate of what we call the population variance, which would mean if you looked at every rod being produced, and here we have a sample, let's say, of 200 rods. So we take the value is assumed to be the midpoint minus the mean dollar sign squared carrot 2. Okay, then we copy that down. And of course, if you wanted to see the formula, there it is. Now, to get the variance, we would sum a product those square deviations from the mean with their frequencies. There's the frequencies, there's the square deviations from the mean, and divide by the number of observations minus 1. And that should give me the variance. And the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance, 0 0.05579. So that's fairly common when that is is kept in a group fashion, which I think it often is in manufacturing companies that use quality control, because I got the idea for this example from the great Ishikawa it's quality control book, first name, K. Ori, and Introduction to Quality Control. But that summarizes how you can find the mean standard deviation and variance when your data is grouped. Okay, so thanks for watching. And, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston. Um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews. Uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here, and with that one, you can see it's 4 point something, or maybe even 5, I don't think it's 5, yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.